headed to the thrift this morning. It's been a long week, so you gotta treat yourself. First, I gotta let <coughs> Max. What's up? You ready to go to the thrift? Just kidding. You have to stay home. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Still love you. But yeah. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? I feel bad. Check out this lamp that I got the other day. One. Two. Three. So it opens up at nine. Probably hit a couple thrifts today. And then I will be sharing later all of our finds. Headed to the thrift in the thrift beast. Of course, it's uh, about that time of the year where we start getting frost. Yeah. It's not even October yet. It's starting to get cold. Freezing. There's bread. Freezing my ass off. <laughs> Good stuff. What's going on? We are back from the thrifts. We got a truck full of stuff. Spent roughly 300 bucks, maybe just a little over. And so we're gonna start this new episode of The Thrift Corner, where all of your thrift finds have a safe space. So let's start with this Patagonia. So this is the Patagonia hemp. It's made of hemp, long sleeve outdoor shirt. These always seem to do very well. Probably will get 30 or 35 bucks. Uh, if you find the organic cotton ones, pick those up too. This one made me really chuckle. It's the doomed lions, but it's a tribute to Dale Earnhardt. Got the number three. They actually uh, took the lettering off the back who was Joey Harrington and customized it with the Earnhardt. So vroom vroom. Next we have Tampa Bay Lightning Vintage. It's a little beat up but I'm going to soak it in some OxyClean. It's a vintage CCM. Just blank on the back. The Tampa Bay Lightning are giving up our boy Steve Iserman is coming back to Detroit to rebuild our storied sports team that has been struggling as of late. Next we have, this is only three bucks, Notre Dame Fighting Irish, spell out. I don't really know what's going on with these posts. Maybe it was supposed to be some flags or something. 
got the high neck with the strings blank on the back probably will get like 35 or 40 bucks Notre Dame fans they don't they don't like to spend that much money though it's kind of odd this one was a personal favorite I got a bunch of Red Wings gear someone must have donated their closet but this is a Nike this is two bucks so Nike and NHL team sports got the Red Wings spell out on the front Dry land training with the Nike Team Sports swoosh and spell out. And then you got the winged wheel, of course. Classic logo on the back. Another nice crew neck. This one's a little too big, or otherwise I'd keep it. You got the big winged wheel with Detroit Red Wings spell out. This is just on a vintage Fruit of the Loom. And it was only three bucks. Blank back. Probably get about 30 or 35 on that. This is for all you dads out there, cutting the lawn, grinding your kids. You got the champion cotton dad shorts, spell out on the bottom, and also the classic logo, so you're doubling up. Got the drawstring for quick cinch around the waist. Usually I get about 30 or 35 on those. We are still going through, or we have all of the New York Hall listed now. So all of this champion stuff, it just keeps piling up, but we've made our money back and uh, we'll keep, keep going through it. Got a Mickey Mouse vintage. Eh, actually, I think it's a little newer. It's on a newer shirt, jerseys, but I bought it because it was pretty cool. Someone tried stitching. I don't know what's going on with his face, but there's a bunch of threads. What else do we have? So I have, or I picked up a bunch of these soccer socks. These are inside out, but they are Adidas. They were all anywhere from like 75 cents to a buck. I probably got 15 or 20 pairs. I'm probably gonna keep a few, sell a few. This one was pretty sick. So my buddy's cousin, he actually plays for the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is only three bucks. It's an older CCM jersey. Got all of the embroidery, the blue jacket patch, CCM on the back. But yeah, my buddy's cousin plays for him. It's pretty good. Zach Arinsky, check him out. This was over in the Halloween section, actually. This is a 2000 Slipknot t-shirt. You can see the year. Right there, 2000 Blue Grape Merchandising. And it has Slipknot on the back. Bloody running. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know how much I'm going to ask for that. I didn't look it up, but since it was from 2000 and Slipknot has quite the following. Should go pretty quick. What do we have here? So I just sold one of these, I think, a couple weeks ago. This is a full onesie pajama suit, dual fold, with the butt flap, of course, because you know, you got to use the bathroom. It's easier just to unbutton the butt flap. I also got a bunch of hats. So we went to a couple places, and the second place, I just cleaned out their hat section. They had, they had a lot of good vintage ones. Uh, this, these were actually at the first spot. Some of these were at the first spot, kind of mixed in a few. But here's a Chicago Bears spell out snapback. I don't think it's vintage. Has the team Reebok. It's a little older since Reebok's no longer with them, but it was only a buck. Probably get about 20 bucks for it. I like to pick up hats because they're, they're usually very inexpensive and they just give you a good ROI. So if you're buying something for a buck and able to sell for 20 or $25 after fees and stuff, you're probably making 16 or 17 bucks on it. So your ROI is 1600%. You got the classic pony logo, Ralph Lauren cotton dad hat with the spell out on the back. These always go quickly and they're a little stained. So a lot of these show some wear what I'm going to do is, again, throw them into a bucket of warm water or cold water, I guess, if uh, since they're all color. You don't want the colors to bleed into each other. 
So throw it into a bucket of cold water, throw some OxyClean in it, let it sit for a little bit, and then scrub it. But usually it gets them, gets them clean pretty quick. Got the Tim Tebow, Florida FedEx BCS National Championship hat. Flor uh, it's a Nike hat. This, again, probably about 20 or 25 bucks. And this was only 50 cents. I got a few Red Wings hats. These are all vintage. This is an American needle. I've never actually seen this colorway. So you got the gray with the suede like feel brim, winged wheel, just a snapback. This is only a buck again, probably about 25 or 30 on that. Some more socks, soccer socks. These are Umbro. But yeah, I'm a, I'll probably get about 15 or 20 bucks. There's some older Adidas ones in there. Also, these are a little bit older, but and then I got some tube socks, some vintage tube socks. What do we have here? And it's some Adidas nylon spell out joggers, cuff bottoms. These always do really well for me. I get about 35 or 40 bucks. Again, you can see a little bit of stains, but those should wash out. I usually don't wash a lot of my, a lot of the clothing. If, they're, if I get at home and there's stains on it, I just note it on the listing. Uh, a lot of the time it's just a waste of, waste of time unless it's a higher end item. Next we have this Packers, vintage Green Bay Packers. Big logo, spell out, crew neck on the Lee Sport sweater. This is only three bucks, 2XL. This should go pretty quickly to all those fans out there in Wisconsin. They have a great following. Probably about 30 or 35 on that. Some old, had not seen this colorway before. Usually I only see the red plaid or the bright orange hunting pants, but these are some vintage Woolrich. These are most likely from the 60s, or actually just kidding, 1990, it's right there. Sometimes they don't tell you what year it is, so if they don't, you can actually just Google the tag and it will give you like a certain era on, because they changed their tags so many times over the years. It'll give you a roundabout era on um, what year it is. But yeah, these have the overall buttons on the back, or not overall buttons, the uh, so suspenders, yeah. 85% wool. These always seem to do pretty well. We'll probably get about 50 or 60 on these. These were six bucks. Fit in a flat rate envelope. This is pretty cool. This is the military uh, coverall flyers. Men, summer, fire resistant. So this is like a, so the, obviously it just said it. They're coveralls. The guy at the counter was like, oh, you gonna, you gonna wear these outside? I was like, no, probably not. He goes, well, they're really warm. So if you're doing anything cold, like shoveling the snow and stuff, wear this. I was like, all right, man, I'll listen. I will listen. So I think this is men's, yeah. So this is a men's Nike puffer jacket. It's newer. I might actually keep it, I kinda like it. I'll probably not keep it. I hardly keep anything, but it was 10 bucks. Uh, on the newer Nike stuff, if you can find the inner tag, if it has an inside tag, and you're trying to find out what the name of it is, usually there is a six digit code but this one was written in so usually there's a six digit code with a dash and three numbers that means the first six numbers are the style and then the next three numbers after the dash are the color so that will usually bring up the exact name on google but yeah so i'm gonna do a little bit of research maybe these Handwritten numbers, yeah. So this is 614667-010. So I'll look that up and find out how much it goes for, but it's a pretty nice jacket. Got some more hats coming, Michigan hockey. What can I say? Michigan stuff does so well. This is only three bucks. 
Uh, probably get about 25 to 30. Michigan hockey stuff is always done well for me. Masters. So if you find anything that has to do with the Masters, pick it up. This logo always does really well. This is the Masters American Needle. The vintage stuff really does well, but anything like this that's big has the Masters across it. Probably going to get 40 to 45 bucks for this. This was, I think she charged me probably two bucks. <laughs> this is kind of cool. You got the purple Kool-Aid man, cotton dad head. It's definitely not vintage, it's just on a blank head. Uh, I'll probably get like 20 to 25 on it. Again, that was probably a buck or two. So I don't think this is vintage, but here's a Wu-Tang. Leather strap back hat. It's pretty cool, got the classic logo. Wu-Tang spell out on the back. Just Wu-Tang. Yeah, this is this is their newer one. I'll clean it up. It's a little dirty. But I'll probably ask about 25 or 30 on that again. I usually get around 20 to 25 bucks on all my hats. This is pretty cool too. This is a Kenneth Cole spell out cotton dad hat. Again, 20 or 25 bucks. Got the Ricky Rudd Tide NASCAR. This is a Velcro strap back. 20 or 25 bucks. Dale Earnhardt to match the, well, I guess it wouldn't match the Lions jersey, but this is pretty cool. Again, gotta clean this up. This is the 50th, 50th anniversary hat of NASCAR. Vintage competitor's view. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been through its uh, NASCAR races. Probably get 25 or 30 if it cleans up pretty well. Here we go. 1998 NCAA National Champs Michigan Division I men's hockey. This has seen better days, but I usually this cleans up really, really nicely with the OxyClean. I'll probably ask about 35 or 40. It's a starter. This is pretty cool. Brett found this. Has the big Michigan spell out across the front with the black M. Starter logo on the back. The Tri-Power Construction. Don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it has to do with the blend that it's made out of. Maybe not though. No, this is 100% wool. So I don't know what that means, but probably ask about 40 on this. Our cashier was also rocking one of these. The sweatband. He was sweating profusely. It's pretty hot in there. This is a, on the older side. Not sure how old, but it was a buck. Can't beat it. Probably get about 20. So I had to look these up. They're called North Lake. And prices were kind of everywhere, but it seemed like a decent amount were over a hundred. And now that it, winter is coming, these should do pretty well. I'll ask probably 90 to a hundred on them. They were only eight bucks. I had to ask them to price it because they did not have a price on it. So I looked this up. They had a bunch of trains there. I wish I knew more about it, but I looked this up because it was super easy. There's only one listing on it. It's a JC Penny. 75th anniversary, so this is from 1977, Lionel Train. Uh, I think the only one on eBay, the person's asking like 250 bucks. This was eight, I believe, eight or nine bucks. So I'll probably ask about 200, see if I get it. There's no solds on it. I'll take a hundred dollar offer if someone sends it. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Just got your standard Nautica jacket. This appears to be reversible too. You got the leather collar, spell out on the back. Nautica is kind of hit or miss. This is only five bucks, so had the leather on it. So I picked it up. Let's see if there's any spell out. Let's see, I don't look at everything. Oh yeah, I guess the spell out's still on the back. Let's see if there's any on the front. I uh, just got the sailboat logo on the front. But yeah. 
Nautic has kind of fallen off, but Lil Yachty, hopefully you can bring him back with his Chef Boyardee commercials and with uh, Donny Osmond. But yeah, I'll get probably 40 bucks on it. This hat was pretty cool. She ended up charging me six bucks. It's the Chicago Bulls. New Era 5950. Snapback. But it's a Lollapalooza edition. That's the only reason I ended up paying six bucks for it. I haven't looked up how much they sell for. So it will be a surprise when I do. Then we have the U and the turnover chain. Miami University, big logo on the front, and then a big spell out on the back. Fresh caps, made by Fresh Caps. But yeah, this looks brand new, it just needs to be reshaped. So to reshape hats, usually I'll just soak them in some hot water, and then I have a hat reshaper. So it's just this plastic contraption that you put your hat in, and put the other plastic piece over it, and it Looks like a hat. Again. Last but not least, so that this isn't everything that we found, but I just wanted to go over a few things. This, again, this is another Nautica jacket with the leather collar. It's pretty cool. It's almost like a military style, like parka, which is very hot right now. Thanks, Kanye. So this was seven fifty. I'll probably probably ask like fifty or sixty. But yeah, so those are a few of my finds. We'll probably start making these thrift haul videos, hopefully once a week. That way you can see exactly what I buy or what I find. I think it interests a lot of you guys. I know you reached out to me on Instagram to start making more YouTube videos. And so here I am. So hopefully you enjoyed the thrift haul. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up button. Also, hit the subscribe button and turn on that little bell so that when we do drop new thrift haul videos, you get notified. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Vogue underscore squared. All of this will be in the links down below. Take it easy. See you guys.